This is a review for the Eufy Robovac 30C Max. The robot's airflow was measured at 17 CFM. Its suction was measured at 1.3 kPa. In our carpet stress test, the 30C Max picked up all debris types very well. This robot has a fairly narrow direct cleaning path as its brushal compartment is only 5.75 inches wide. But with the help of its side brushes and repeated movement over the same area, it was able to clean up well in this test over time. In our carpet deep clean test, the 30C Max picked up only 4 grams of debris after 3 passes over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. In our hard floor stress test, the 30C Max once again picked up all debris types very well. Again, the robot doesn't pick up all debris on a single pass, but with repeated movement over the same area, it does pick up most debris eventually. The 30C Max performed quite well cleaning edges. This robot utilizes random pathing to move around when cleaning, and this pathing allows it to approach a lot of edges head on, which is good for cleaning them. It also does this back and forth movement against edges, which is especially effective for cleaning them. In our robot vacuum crevice test, the 30C Max did not perform well on default power. It did perform slightly better on maximum power, but even after extensive runtime, it still could not pull most of the debris out of the crevice used for this test. In our human hair pickup test, the 30C Max picked up all the hair, but most of that hair wasn't pulled into its dustbin. More than 90% of the hair it picked up tangled around its side brushes and around its brush roll and had to be cleaned off manually. In our pet hair pickup test, the 30C Max performed much better. It picked up and collected all of the shorter pet hair used for this test in its dustbin. We tested the robot's cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a cluttered room. In our empty room testing, we see the 30C Max's random cleaning pattern demonstrated quite well. We also see very good even coverage across the whole room. In our cluttered room testing, we again see a random cleaning pattern and we again see very good even coverage across the whole room. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially how you can set physical boundaries for the 30C Max using two included magnetic strips. Also note the 30C Max's runtime, bin volume, and noise output, and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all of the random pathing robots we've tested so far. Lastly, note the robot's diameter and height. These dimensions make the 30C Max one of the smaller robot vacuums we've tested. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. The 30C Max's raw performance is excellent. It has good airflow and especially good measured suction. This robot also picks up most debris types very well. It also has very good coverage for a random pathing robot vacuum. Many random robots we tested struggled in our cluttered room coverage testing, having an especially hard time properly cleaning underneath the chair frame used for this test. The 30C Max didn't have these same issues. We also like the fact that, unlike most other Eufy Robovacs, the 30C Max allows you to set boundaries for the area you want it to cover, with two included magnetic strips. This robot also has good battery life and a good sized dustbin. And it's also quieter than most other robot vacuums we tested. Moving on to what we dislike about the 30C Max, it performed quite poorly in our carpet deep clean testing, despite its above average measured suction. It was able to pick up longer human hair, but most of that hair tangled around its side brushes and around its brush roll. Lastly, the 30C Max is also quite expensive for a random pathing robot vacuum. In terms of general recommendations, we first need to compare the 30C Max two other 30 series Eufy Robovacs. The 30C Max's manufacturer specified maximum suction is 2000 pascals. The 30, 30C, and 35C all have a specified maximum suction of 1500 pascals. We didn't physically test the 30, 30C, or 35C, but we did test the 11S, which has a manufacturer specified maximum suction of 1300 pascals and the 11S performed very similarly to the 30C Max in our real-world pickup performance testing despite having considerably less suction. So we think it's safe to say the 30, 30C, and 35C also should offer very similar real-world performance to the 30C Max despite having less suction. Outside of maximum suction, the only other notable differences between the 30C Max and other 30 series vacuums are the following. Compared to the Robovac 30, 
The 30C Max has a different filter and can be controlled via the Eufy app, while the Robovac 30 cannot. Compared to the 30C, the 30C Max has a different filter. Compared to the 35C, the 30C Max comes with longer 13.2 feet magnetic strips, while the 35C comes with shorter 6.6 .6 feet magnetic strips. Among all of these options, we recommend the Eufy Robovac 30 as the best 30 series Eufy you can buy. The Robovac 30 comes with the same magnetic strips you get with the 30C Max and should offer very similar real world performance, all the while being considerably cheaper than the 30C Max. The only major downside of buying the 30 over the 30C Max is that it's not compatible with the Eufy app. But app control for all Eufy random pathing robot vacuums, including 30 series vacuums, is very limited, and the included physical remote control works just as well. If you don't want or need boundary strips, we recommend you skip the 30 series altogether and go with the 11S as the best bang for the buck Eufy Robovac currently on the market. Now, Eufy Robovacs in general are some of the best random pathing robot vacuums we tested, and the 30C Max certainly isn't a bad option if you're looking to buy a random pathing robot. We just think the Robovac 30 is a better option if you want boundary strip compatibility. And the 11S is the best option if you're looking for the best value overall. For links for all of the robot vacuums we recommend in this video, and for links for all of the robot vacuums we recommend overall, see the description of this video. And thank you for watching.